day 24. We're in day 24 of the government shutdown. So last week, over 800,000 federal employees were not paid. Keeping in mind that statistics have reported over the last two years that over 70% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Not receiving a paycheck is a very big deal. Add to that that there's been various reports reporting that the average American has less than $5,000 in their savings account. It is a bigger deal than you could imagine. Okay, so what do we do? Well, if you're a government employee, you're gonna have to be making some serious decisions. You know, what do you pay? What do you not pay? How do you make that choice? So the first thing I would recommend is I would reach out to all of your credit card companies, student loans, car loans, mortgage, uh, landlord. I would reach out to all of those first and I would explain the situation. Hi. I am a government employee, as you can see by the news, I'm not getting paid. I do not have the ability to make my payment. Is it possible to defer the payment until the government reopens and I'm issued a check? As you can see from my prior credit history, I've always paid my bills on time. In this case, I have no control. That's it, that's what you're saying. That's what's happening. That's what you're saying. Now. You may have to ask for a manager. You may have to ask for that manager's manager. I think that you should actually, if you have to ask for more than two people, I think you should document it on Twitter, Twitter government shutdown stories, for sure. I'm curious actually to know how many people when you call and say that, as you know, the government shut down will be surprised. That will be very interesting, but those are, you know, it's going to be a painful process for you. Calling a credit card company or a mortgage lender, it's never super fun. And in this case, asking for them to defer a payment, which is not something generally any of these companies do, unless it's in a federally uh, declared disaster area, it's going to be a little bit challenging. So find a way to make it less painful for yourself. But that's the first thing I would do. The reason I would do that first is because once you know where you stand there, then you can really focus on what you need. You need food, you need gas, okay? You need utilities, you need water. You know, if you run up at your first companies, I would also go after, you know, your electric company, your water company, call them. If, if your water's from a city, call the city, say, hey, I'm a government employee, as you know, we're not getting paid. Can you defer this payment? Okay. You don't get unless you ask. None of these companies are going to automatically just defer your payment. And if you think, oh, I just don't want to deal. It's going to open tomorrow and then everything will be fine. I won't be late. It will be okay. You don't want to approach it that way. You want, you really want to be proactive in this because spending a couple hours on the phone, getting everything lined up, make sure you take notes, write down names, everything can save you from spending days and months later trying to get lates off of your credit report. So I'm really sorry if you're in this position. I really hope I never have to hold up another day sign. Um, let's just hope this shutdown ends soon.